A radiologic technology program in the Department of Nursing and Allied Health Sciences at Bronx Community College prepares students as entry-level qualified licensed and registered radiographers. The mission of the program is to prepare its students for careers in the diagnostic imaging services, as well as through a challenging progressive academic and clinical environment. Joining us now to share a little bit more is the professor for radiologic technology and chairperson for nursing and allied health sciences, Annette Ortiz, and also x-ray technologist at Montefiore Medical Center, Jessica Santos, and uh, welcome you both to the show. Thank you for having us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for being with us. And so uh, I will guess I will, I will go first with you and uh, I will talk to you first, Professor Ortiz, a little bit about this program because it really gives people an opportunity to get uh, entry level into a career that's quite booming. The radiology program is a two year program. It's an associate's degree level. Our students go from, from fall, starting fall, let's say they come in 2021, they go on until 2020. Two, there is a two-year program. We have hospital affiliates. We have four hospital affiliates, Montefiore Medical Center, Montefiore Wakefield, Jacoby Medical Center, and Columbia Presbyterian. It's a two-year program. We accept 40 students in the beginning of the fall semester. They would have to finish their prerequisites during the, the spring prior to entering. The prerequisites are MATH 13 or MATH 30 and BIO 23. They must receive a C plus or higher in order to get accepted into the program. They have to have a minimum GPA of a 2.8 or higher in order to be accepted for the full. Now, MATH 30, is, it's a good math to have. We do recommend our students to take MATH 30 instead of MATH, 30, math 13 because they are able to transfer that credit out to a four year program. After, their, after the completion of the two years, they're certified radi radiologic technologist. They are able to perform diagnostic x-rays, anything from fluoroscopy, working at a, in orthopedics, doing just bone, bone radiology. Um, then they can also move on to other modalities such as CAT scan, mammography, angio, angiography, cardiac catheterization, all depending how they want to venture out into the field. They can get, they can also get into sales. They can get, uh, get into management, teaching as I did. Um, that's basically it. That's the two-year program. It is a challenging program. We do, we are very honest with our students from day one that this is a very challenging program at the end you know at the end of, at the end their career is basically they're they're responsible for mm -hmm. human beings right so we do hold our students to a very high standard high expectation and also you know during this time during covid this has been a perfect example and even sh and showing them and teaching them how challenging this job can get it's yeah. not just it's not just learning and memorizing you have to make sure you understand the concept to what we're teaching our so what we're teaching and we students very early on they do realize and they recognize they cannot go through the program just memorizing yeah. they have to understand what's going on well it actually is a perfect time to bring actually jessica in right now and jessica is a 2019 graduate of the program she's actually taken part and now she's a working in the field. And Jessica, give us a little bit as she is walking about, uh, let us know a little bit about what you're doing. Okay, so I'm currently working at Montefiore Medical Center at um, the main Moses campus. I'm at the orthopedic clinic where we see from fractures to um, basically surgeries from knee replacements to hip replacements all of that type of stuff. Um, when it comes to my preparation, I feel like I couldn't have chosen a better program, honestly. I've heard from other places, other colleges that offer the, the radiology program. And I feel like I chose the best place being that once I was hired here, there was no fright in me. I felt so ready. I was so secure about who I was and what I was about to do that it was just, it just, it was perfect. 
Now, how do you feel being a technologist? I mean, obviously you graduated, that's what you wanted to do, but now that you're actually working in the field, what's it feel like for you working on a day-to-day -day basis? And particularly during a time like this with COVID-19, you're actually on the front lines. Right, so when COVID-19 actually hit, we were, our, our orthopedic clinic closed and we were sent off to the main hospital where we were teamed up into groups of two and we were um, basically in the front lines taking those x-rays of the people who had tragically, you know, attained the virus. So on a day to day, it's just a relief. I honestly feel like all the the stress that we underwent in the program for those two years, it paid off. All the studying, all the, the sleepless nights, it's just good to finally be here and not studying anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, Professor, talk to us a little bit about the program in terms of more students like Jessica. Do you find that more and more people are actually gravitating towards your program? More, yes, we do have more and more students gravitating to the program. Again, we do have, you know, again, we have students also that, you know, apply for the program with a false expectation. They could just, you know, swing by, you know, swing by the two year program and, and not and, and not study. And they, they don't really have the, the full idea of, of what ex exactly this entails. It's not a part, it's not about just sticking a part under a light field and taking a picture. There's more to it. We're dealing with radiation and during advisement, we do have to explain this to the students. A lot of times the students come in and, you know, they, they pick a program. They're like, oh, this looks interesting. And they don't really understand what, what, what is behind the program. So during advisement, we do take, we do, we do make it our business to explain to the students, what does the program entail? That it's you know it's a two year program block schedule. We we give you the schedule. You can't pick when, you know what time or when you want to take certain classes. Everything everything falls one after the other. With once you're in in the program for two years, um, so. Once we explain all of that, we do some, we do get students that are very excited to enter the program and they're very much more interested in getting into the program. And once they're in, we they're already ready and they they know that they do have to study and basically give up all their time to to succeed in the program. So yeah, we do we do have a lot of students gravitating to us more and more. And we do have a hundred percent pass rate in our our registry so with that we, we we've been pretty pretty good in, in that standing and you know adjusting to this i don't like to call it the new norm because i don't want to accept that this is the new norm hopefully i'll be back on campus with my students pretty soon um i know this semester we're still going to be online however it, it's been a challenge but for the most part we do to answer your question yes we do have a lot of students more and more gravitating to the nursing and allied health sciences. Yeah, Jessica, real quick before we go, what advice would you give to a student who may be thinking about this program? Give a quick word of advice. I honestly feel like it would be the best decision that they can ever make because from the minute they get into the program, you now join the family. You have an army of students behind you. You have those teachers behind you. You have a group of people who are rooting for you and supporting you in every single thing that you do. You don't study alone. You don't do anything by yourself once you're in that program because you move on with these same with this same group of people for those two years straight. So I honestly feel like if they're thinking about it, they shouldn't think about it anymore. It's an amazing place to be. In terms of preparation, they will prepare you more than you need to be prepared. So in terms of being afraid of having to take boards after, it does not matter because honestly, that was one of my fears. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to go take x-rays on real people at the hospital and I'm gonna have to take a test afterwards. But from the moment I stepped foot in that program and I saw all the people that supported you, whenever you had a question, office hours are open, 
you just have a family behind you, an army behind you, rooting for you to basically make it. So I honestly feel like it shouldn't be something that they have to think about. They should just do it. Yeah. Well, thank you. Congratulations. You are doing it, and we want to congratulate you. Thank you. Professor Annette, thank you so much for being with us here on Open. We'll certainly give the information so that people can find out about a career in radiologic technology. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. All righty. Well, I want to let you know if you want more information, yes, go to the website. And if you go to the website at bcc.cuny.edu. Once again, bcc cuny.edu to find out more about th that program and a whole lot more.